Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and greetings, Alishan Mao here. Today in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Firefly 4K Split Mini camera, which is basically an FPV camera, and at the same time, it can record uh, up to 4K high definition, 50 frames per second video, 2.7K, and obviously 1080p and 720p videos for you. Now, in 720p and 1080p modes, you can record up to uh, 120 and 240, 120 frames per second in 1080p and 240 frames per second in 720p. That can give you a super nice smooth video for even super nice smooth slow motion. But the best thing is that you can shoot. 4K high definition video up to 50 frames per second while flying with this camera and using it at the same time as an FPV camera. That means you don't have to buy, you know, separate FPV cameras. So save the weight from your aircraft by not using these. Save the money by not buying the separate FPV cameras. And also save yourself some headache of connecting too many different of connecting two different cameras all in one just one unit that you can use on your FPV aircraft or FPV racing drones FPV freestyle drone at the same time not only it gives you FPV footage live video but also records up to 4k 50 frames per second so this is Firefly split 4k mini they also have the split version which works on wide voltage this one however work this one, however, works only on 5 volts, which is going to be, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, complicated to connect because you will need a U-back to power this camera or power it through one of the flight controller ports if you have empty ports and they are giving you 5 volt out so you can basically power the camera using, without using a U-back, okay? Once again, beware, I'm, I'm just going to add a TF card, hold on. Once again, do remember 5 volts, not more than 5 volts, okay? So, for complete specs of this camera, go ahead, check out the link in the video description. Okay, it also comes with the complete user manual, some stickers, some accessories, an extra cable, okay? Mounting accessories, and obviously, uh, you know, OSD controller that you can use to tweak the settings of this camera okay now in order to uh, power it or use it that's what you need to do is check this out learn okay don't make mistakes the camera comes with this which will obviously connect to your OSD so I'm just gonna connect it now here's the tricky part you have only three cables red yellow and black red is power 5 volt into the camera ground that is black and yellow that is video out so what you need to do is power the camera using 5 volt that is red and black okay and at the same time share the black with the yellow cable okay I was running out of yellow cable, so I went with red, <laughs> kind of confusing. So, share the black with yellow cable, and this goes to your video transmitter, or uh, to the camera port of your flight controller, which will then superimpose the OSD uh, on the image, okay? So, this is how you will set very easy, but if you make mistake, poof, you will have magic smoke. Don't do that. All right, so I'm just going to remove the cap okay and bring in my SN Navy flight controller that has become the camera testing unit for now and I have a 600 milliwatt video transmitter as well so I'm gonna connect the camera to my flight controller and you can see there's no power coming to the camera from my flight controller because the central pin is missing central cable that is red is missing going to the camera because you don't want to double power otherwise you'll burn it now I'm gonna connect the U back at this side which will provide 5 volt to my Firefly Mini 
uh, Firefly Split Mini 4K. Okay, and this is this. So I'm just gonna make some space by putting these things here. Um, so I can superimpose the OSD on you know the the the, the, the uh, on the screen right here. Okay. All right. Let's power the flight controller and the camera. So here goes the flight controller and here's the camera power. Now, here is my LCD, which will show you straight away. But I will record the DVR footage. Ooh, look at the image quality. It's just amazing. No overexposed colors, okay? Oh, let's make a tunnel. Look at that non-ending infinite tunnel right here. Okay. Hey, what's up? Check me out. And this is my camera holder, 3D printed, holding the camera. So yes, the color quality is really nice. Hold on, I'll just... I cannot pick up the camera. I just want to show you my room. Uh, there are many colorful objects here. And you can see the color quality is really nice. The overall quality is very, very nice. Okay, now this is here. I'm going to shoot the video later, but in order to show you um, the menu system of the camera, okay, I'm just going to put the cap on so it will be black and we can see properly. And I'm going to turn on the, my video goggles. Okay, so the DVR is recording. I'm just going to, you know, put the cap on so you can see things clearly. All right, and now I'm gonna use this to show you the menu. Uh oh, I started recording. Sorry. So in the menu, sorry for the you know, you will see the OSD. In the menu, you have resolution, where you have 2.7K. At the moment, it's set 2.7K, 60 frames per second, 16 by 9. You have 4K, 25, 30, and 50 frames per second, and you see 720P. 240 frames per second and 1080p 120 frames per second for a super nice slow motion so I'm just gonna go 2.7k 60 frames per second 16 by 9 ratio okay and you have loop recording WDR which you want to keep on because it gives very good uh, very beautiful image Then you have exposure you have time-lapse recording slow motion recording metering mode sharpness, contrast, auto recording and Kodak where you can choose from H.264 or H.265 for even better compression okay fixed frame rate, electronic shutter WDR again okay so we, we are back okay and then next here you have auto power off language frequency uh, let me set it to 50 did I set to 50? yes okay frequency 50 then we have TV mode that is Paul and NTSC. I'll go to Paul. That's where it doesn't flicker, which is very nice. And also they say you have lowest latency in Paul. So if you want to fly FPV, definitely you want to go for lowest latency. So keep it in Paul. Okay. And then you have uh, OSD menu, so you can keep it on or off. Otherwise, if you keep it on, it will bother, but you can actually see if the camera is shooting what camera modes you are on and what shooting modes you are on and you have ISO settings image effects white balance distortion correction FOV so I have a large FOV uh, image rotation format the card default settings version okay so let me show you the image effects you have normal black and white vivid sapphire sepia sketch color pencil negative rock cool green warm yellow i mean i just don't understand why why would you want these image effects if you're flying fpv if you're using it as a shooting camera the logging camera maybe you might want to want to have those but anyway for fpv that is that i have not found the night mode which you can actually do with you know electronic shutter fixed frame rates and stuff like that you can actually turn on the night modes easily all right, so now I would like to record a video.
I will also shoot some outdoor videos so you can see how outdoor looks like in this camera and after that we will bring it I will install it on my uh, you know FPV aircraft that is aggressor or Rambler RS and we will go for you know some uh, FPV flight and see how well it shoots and how good it is I also 3d printed a case for this camera so that the camera can sit inside together with the board okay so let me fit it in and show it to you I hope that the, uh, you know my calculations were right so it will sit in properly Thank you. 